Hello, this is just a quick video to show you how you can gain access to MATLAB for free through your school account and then give you some tips on resources that are available uh, and file organization. So the first thing you want to do is go to this link here, matlab.mathworks.com. From there on out, it's just typical account setup sort of steps that you need to do. Make sure that you use your Mesa CC email address. That's what will get you the free access through the school. If you have any difficulties with this, make sure you contact MCC's College Technology Services. You can see their phone number or their email address there on the screen. And once you do have your account set up and you go to that link, you'll see a page that looks like this, and you just need to sign in. And then your screen should look something like this. Uh, you won't have these files created just yet because you haven't written any in this course, but that will fill in soon. The two main buttons are up here at the top, but real briefly, I just want to point out some useful resources for you. Uh, these are training courses or videos uh, that were created by MathWorks. So you can think of these as uh, a crash course in learning specific topics in MATLAB. Uh, there's some neat coding puzzles you can access right there. Uh, there's a file exchange. Uh, maybe somebody else uh, out there on the Internet has written a, a MATLAB code that can accomplish something cool. Uh, so you can explore uh, through that link there. But now to the top. Uh, you can install MATLAB locally on your computer. I recommend this. I'm actually not able to do it since I'm using a school laptop, uh, but this will allow you to have locally saved files. But you can always access MATLAB online as long as you have internet access. And once it loads, you will see a screen that looks something like this. Uh, I will explore the windows uh, in more detail in a later video, but I want to point out where these files are being saved. Uh, this button here, Browse for Folder, will be important uh, no matter whether you're using MATLAB online or installed on your computer. Uh, this will show you exactly which fo folders your files are being saved in. If you are using MATLAB online, this is all saved on the cloud, which is nice. You can access it from anywhere as long as you have that internet connection. The first thing you want to do in this course is create a folder where you can save all of your work. So I'm going to right click and have a new folder. And I'll just call this ECE 105 24F for the fall semester. Um, and then I press enter. Note one very important thing I did there. I did not include spaces. No spaces, no special characters are allowed in file names, in folder names. Um, and the only special character that's allowed is this underscore character. Uh, so no dashes, no slashes, no parentheses, etc. So uh, first time you access MATLAB, create that folder in which we are going to save every file. And then your first step, once you log into MATLAB, connect to that folder so that anything you save will be saved in a place you can access.